To write the name for NiOH2, the first thing we need to recognize is this OH right here. When it's bonded to a metal, this is called the hydroxide ion. We have two hydroxide ions bonded to this nickel atom here. So since we have these nonmetals here bonded to the nickel metal, metal and nonmetals, that's going to be an ionic compound. So we're going to use these rules here to write the name for NiOH2. First, we name the metal. That's Ni, which is nickel. Next, we write the name of the polyatomic ion. That's the OH. That's our hydroxide, lowercase h. So the name right now for NiOH2 is just nickel hydroxide. But we said nickel, that's a transition metal. So we're going to have to put that in here somehow to show the charge on the nickel. So let's do that. We don't know the charge on the nickel because it can have different charges depending on what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to these two hydroxide ions. And the whole thing, each one, is 1 minus. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. Nickel has to be a 2 plus. So to show that in the name, we put a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses, and the name for NiOH2 is nickel 2 hydroxide. The 2 plus, that shows up right here in the Roman numeral 2. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you know nickel has a 2 plus ionic charge, and that you'll need 2 of these 1 minus hydroxides to balance the charge out and have a net charge of zero. This is Dr. B with the name for NiOH2, nickel 2 hydroxide. Thanks for watching.